Hello, Carol Burke, <coughs> PO Box 91, Lake Butler, Florida. Okay, I'm going to read um, more of the uh, letter. <clears throat> Next, in violation of Section E above, the notice fails to advise that interested parties may appear at public hearings and be heard regarding the proposed action to be heard by this commission on October 17, 2019, which is a mining application. Rather, the proposed notice states, at the aforementioned public hearings, all interested parties may appear to be heard with respect to the special use application for the telecommunications tower. <clears throat> the failure to correctly identify the proposed action not only confuses the public, but fails to put the public on notice that they have the right to be heard with respect to the mining application and thus eviscerates the purpose of a public hearing. <clears throat> Finally, in violation of Section C above, the notice is also unclear as the ability to view copies of the special use application to be heard as the immediately preceding sentence references a telecommunications tower and not a mining application. This precludes the public from being on notice of their individual rights to have a meaningful review of the proposed application prior to a public hearing. Accordingly, as the hearing was regarding the special permit under section 13.4, notice must be published in the local newspaper not less than 10 days prior to the hearing. Therefore, any notice published online by Bradford County or clarification submitted over the telephone by planning staff does not bring the deficient notice into compliance with the county's land development regulations or adhere to the spirit of Florida jurisprudence regarding proper notice. The essence of a notice, when sufficient in form and content, is objective consequence upon the one who receives it, not the subjective attitude of the one who gives it. The notice must be clear and unambiguous and readily intelligible to the intended reader, the average citizen at large who is presumed to lack the technical knowledge of a planning expert. Furthermore, the notices are mandated in order to protect interested persons who are thus given the opportunity to learn of proposed applications, given the time to study proposals for any negative or positive effects that they might have if approved, and given notice so that they can attend the hearings and speak out to inform the city commissioners prior to application approval. Non-compliance with the notice provision takes away or reduces these opportunities. Here, the public citizens of Bradford County have not been properly, no properly noticed on their rights to be fully advised of the description of the application, their lawful right to be heard by the, by the commission. It's only got another sentence or two. Can I read it? No? Oh, go ahead. Commission on the promised matter, nor their right to have access to the application for meaningful review prior to the application being before Bradford County Commission. As such, it is the, this commission's duty <clears throat> to its 27,000 citizens to ensure that the land development regulations are complied with <clears throat> in order to provide the public prior notice and opportunity to be heard on an issue that will affect their community and as such, a hearing on SU 1902 must be postponed until proper notice is issued. Govern yourself accordingly. Heidi Mahaffey. And this is on behalf of Citizens Against Phosphate Mining. Thank y'all. Okay, Gallagher.